Hi guys, welcome to In the Neighborhood. I'm here with Clay Bolin. Uh, he is with the Litchfield Rescue Squad and he's gonna take us through today uh, and show us everything that the Litchfield Rescue Squad does and how they serve our communities. In the Neighborhood. With Thad. One of the number one things that we do, Thad, are working with the medical services in town. Mm -hmm. uh, we respond to typically three to 400 medical calls a year. And truck number one is our first call, our first truck that goes out on a call. We try to get four members in there um, to respond to those calls. The second thing we do is car accidents. We do about 24 car accidents a year. And this is the truck we take primarily out on that. We have room for about eight people in here and we try to load the truck up. There's a lot of things on a car accident besides the patients that we have to be concerned about. Our own safety on the, on the accident scene, working with other vehicles and stuff. So we want to make sure we have adequate people there. And the fire department usually is gracious enough to help with traffic control and help manage uh, the scene safety. The third thing that we do is over here on truck three. This truck would respond primarily to any water rescues that we do have. Um, for an area that has as much lakes as we have, we don't have that many water rescues, but of course when we do, um, there's a need to have specialized equipment when we're out there. So this would be the primary truck that we would take for that and has all sorts of things that we need along with a lot of other equipment in here. If you can see the boat down here, that's an airboat. We would take that out with truck four and that would follow this vehicle to a drowning scene or a person that would um, need recovery on the lake or something like that. So the fourth thing here is the dive trailer. Typically this is for water recovery. Usually when we're called to a lake and we bring in the divers, we're not typically looking for someone that's alive anymore. And yeah, we're looking to recover the body at that point in time. Clay, thank you so much for the tour, kind of letting us know what the Rescue Squad does. Um, hey, I would love to ask you just a couple of questions. The first one being, you know, what is it that you love about being a first responder here uh, on, the, on the rescue squad. What, what is it that's just uh, gratifying that you love about it okay. and serving? Well, it's a great opportunity to serve your community. There is no other service organization out there that does this type of work, right? Um, you are responding to a person that's in medical need mm -hmm. um, and they need services fast right. and everything's kind of spontaneous. A lot of times when we get a call, we really aren't too sure exactly what type of call we're responding mm -hmm. to. So we're always um, kind of cautious and aware that things could be different than what we anticipate them to be. But the, the service opportunity is excellent. Um, people are so grateful that you're there to help mm -hmm. them out. Um, and, and whether you're on fire or police or one of the other service organizations in town, um, the level of service that we provide is, is just um, so unique and satisfying. You guys really, you're called out there essentially to save lives. Essentially, to, to yes, rescue we are. people. How, how incredible! That's, that's it's uh, pretty amazing when you think about it. <laughs> yes, it, it is. I love it. So, okay, so obviously with this job, there's a lot of challenges. There's a yep. lot of things that happen. Um, what are some of those difficult things that you guys have to deal with? Well, some of the things that we deal with are the unknown, right? A call will come in and we will have very little information. Sometimes that information is not very correct or accurate. Sure. And we get out there and we find ourselves in a totally different situation. So um, we always have to be careful about just stepping in too sure. fast, right? You have sure. to observe what's going on. We talked earlier about car accidents. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go out into a car accident scene, you can't control a lot of the scene because mm -hmm. the motoring public is driving around you sure. and you can't really stop them, right? Yeah. And so we're always very careful about scene safety and making sure everybody comes back after the call. Yeah. So uh, how can Cornerstone, other churches in the area, uh, the family of faith, how, how can we pray for you guys and girls? Well, um, probably one of the biggest things is um, pray for us physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. The job can be challenging, right? Yeah. Uh, we get called day and night, Christmas Eve, middle of the evening, uh, mm -hmm. you're doing something with your family and you get called away. Right. That's challenging in and of itself. Uh, weather can be very challenging. And quite honestly, some of the calls you go to, for example, a suicide, mm -hmm. is never a positive yeah. experience. And it's very challenging mentally and physically and it can take a toll on a person. Yeah. And so we pray for that. Now we're we're gonna pray, be praying for you guys and thank you so much uh, for uh, ministering to save lives uh, and to be there for the community. You are welcome. Thanks, Clay. You're welcome. Thank you.